So I was just in the shower and I was listening to some new jeans. And one of the songs was Super Shy. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know that song. And I was like, I love music. I love making music. I'm trying to practice working with MIDIs and DAWs. And I'm like, wait, this is a perfect opportunity for me to recreate Super Shy. And I have all the equipment I need. Let's just get to that. So I have my setup here and I'm gonna set up there. What I'm gonna do is, so I've pulled up this Oh, wait, I have to connect my... Then there we go. Perfect. Basically, what I'm going to do now is listen to New Gene Super Shy. Let's do that first. So we hear some synths in the um, back. We hear the let lead, or kind of like sounding like bells. Get the vocals come in and the drums. We've got the bass. So what we're doing when we first listen to the song, or what I'm doing at the moment, is kind of identifying the layers, getting the feel of the instruments. Um great, now the the layers have thinned out. I'll stop at 1 minute and 9 seconds because I've got to first work out the chords and stuff. I'm going to do a little bit of research and I'll get back to you. Alright. So I found out that they're, they used a Amen drum, if I'm not wrong, and that their chords are G minor 7 and E minor 6. So all I have to do is basically play it on the keyboard, but I'll have to find an instrument that suits it first. Mm. How do I record the audio? Huh. Ah! We had a technical problem, we're back, and I've done a little bit realizing I haven't recorded, but that's fine. So basically what I've done so far is listen over to the Super Shy uh, chords found the two synths that I think were nice. What I did, what I did with this first one was, um, I noticed that one of the tracks seemed to have almost like a swishing type of sound. It's like gradually increasing and then a very quick release. So what I've did done was um, I had a long attack and a short release, and I've basically edited the function so. It sounds something like that. And this is the, the other um, synth. It's more echoey. And what I'm going to do now is do the lead. Lead or whatever. Ooh, yes. What I'm going to do is... And what, um, I'm gonna basically extend this bit, let's give it a playback. I'll tidy that up later, but what I'm gonna do now is just basically copy paste it into the next bar. And all they did was really change a bit of this to, I think it was a C. Nope, sorry. Dun dun, that was the next one. Yeah, that was about it. That's all for the lead, 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 whatever. I'm gonna rename that. And so what I've also done was download a sample from a sample beat and a DJ scratch sound as well as the vocals on its own because what I've realized was that 
I don't think I could make this Amen beat myself. That's what it sounds like. I'm gonna reduce it slightly because we're peaking. That's fine. It was probably peaking earlier as well. Um, but because it's at the wrong tempo, I'll have to apply the project tempo to the region and downbeat. Right. And it was like one. Okay, we're gonna have to need two tracks because the actual the intro's drum beat is softer. So what we're gonna do is copy that, and we're gonna basically fiddle with the EQ and um, what I called a uh, the EQ and the fat FX and see how that sounds with ooh wait, let's turn that off for a bit let's make it a little bit thinner like around there i'm gonna lower it's fine we'll keep that for now it's close enough this doesn't actually come until later so and this is disregard. This is like the last element we'll really need anyways. So let's turn these on for now. And what we have to do is kind of tidy this bit up. There we go, we've got it fixed. And then we can just Oh, shoot. Okay. And then that's where it goes. I'm super shy. So. We're too early. Good. And, ooh, yes, we just have to loop this bit. Uh, we're gonna disregard that for a moment. I think there was a base, so I'm gonna add a base to this as well. Do the same process. You're gonna find the sound you want it to sound like. If that makes any sense. Synth bass. There was one um, bass that was like really, not wobbly, but growly, I don't know. And there was one that was more like subtle, it was like hard to hear kind of. Um, no, go away. Mm. It was almost as subtle as this. It's like you can barely hear it. And let's listen to it again. It was, okay, so it's just two notes kind of going back and forth. Yes, it's just um, C, sorry, C, D, E, F, G, G, and F that are going on and off. Let's just play that. Oh, missed. Let's try that again. Okay, I just realized the beat and the vocals are a bit off. Or, oh, uh, this is off too. Let's so off to a great start. Let's just... For now, I'll just copy it. So we see the layers forming. And so I'm not gonna let you sit here and watch me basically organize entire songs, but these are the few layers that I've heard out, which included the DD scratching, which you'll, we'll have to 
kind of chunk it up because this scratching is too slow and we can't adjust this by tempo so I'm just gonna have to split each of these um, volumes or these the audio track so that it would be like more immediate and then what I'll have to do is basically organize the rest of the bits but these are the main tracks so you have the synth oh great this synth has the long attack and short release the way it kind of builds up and then just disappears and again this is the same you could just do the chord once um just copy paste it onto the next synth track and then we've got we got the lead And then you've got the bass, which is just the F and G keys, which repeats, and the same. You can copy paste with a different uh, bass. And then we got the a cappella file, the Amen drum break I've got online, the DJ scratching. Oh, and I heard later in the actual song. There's that extra drum kit sound that I'll have to recreate. So what I'm gonna do is get a... Oh, this is the real drums. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's pretty cool, okay. The... So, I'll just record that separately. Uh, we need a snap. Wait. Huh? I'm gonna do like a two layer thing. Like a clap. And what we're gonna do is basically duplicate this track. But we're gonna go for some snaps. Just copy and paste that. So if we just do something. And I might as well just do this, or maybe actually. It's more layered and feels nicer, I guess. Okay, so we have more to add on now, including... Let's find... We're gonna do the same thing with the sustain. For the outro. Um, and play the chords over and over, I guess. So it's, what was it again? And get back here. And then we're going to record a separate one for the other chord. Yeah, so these are pretty much all the files that we need so far. And I'll get to arranging the actual piece and I'll show you when it's done. Ten hours later. So I've got the actual bit done now. Um, I've tidied some things up. I've added this kind of crash we hear at the beginning of the song. You can kind of hear the song coming together. And I've also basically... Uh, where's that little bit? Added this bit here. Which was to mimic the kind of cutting to the vocals they did. Um, I don't remember in what bit of the song, but it was more towards the end. Because uh, I didn't really know how to do that, but close enough. 
And we don't really have any of the other new elements except for the fact that I tidied these DJ scratches up that I found from YouTube. <laughs> to mimic the sounds that they had in the actual song. And th yeah, there's nothing, there's no other new elements. I've just arranged them so that in certain sections that um, a certain layer or audio file is gone or there is a new audio file added to it. Other than that, I've just taken the same files that are really needed, the stems, I guess you could say, and put them together. And I also used this, um, it's a bit messy, I don't know what I really did, but for the intro drum I kind of made a gradual increase for the volume and I think, I don't know what's going on here, I, this is not supposed to be on but that's fine. And for there's a drum in the middle where it kind of did the same with a gradual increase, I think that was, yeah, that's also in the middle. So I've basically fiddled with the audio, uh, sorry, the volume levels for the drums because at times there are gradual increase and decreases. So yeah. Other than that, that's pretty much the entire song. That's all the layers there really is. And this is how it sounds all together. That's a wrap. I'm tired. I have school tomorrow. This was a great idea to do this in the middle of the night. Yeah, hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for the next one.